Hey, welcome on board the poker training juggernaut that is this series of videos that you're watching. <laughs> Let's say it's a juggernaut. I want it to be a juggernaut. I want your poker future to be a juggernaut. That I do want. And one of the things that can stop it being a juggernaut is negative death spirals during sessions. Negative momentum, negative mindset, and that thing that's not quite tilt, but is that kind of depressed state where you're going to put loss upon loss upon loss during a session. And that can really destroy your profit for the week or the month. And overall, it can destroy your poker playing career if you constantly get caught up in these downward spirals, this kind of negative momentum. So this video is called how to turn a session round during that session. It's going to be really valuable for you because if you can get this skill of not being affected by setbacks when you play, you can really become an effective and balanced and uh, profitable poker player. Uh, so let's talk about it a little bit. And the first thing I want to acknowledge is that it happens to everyone. If you're watching this video thinking, oh, that happens to me, that happened to me last night, there's no reason to feel bad until you intervene and like make a conscious effort to get better at it. It's very natural to get kind of uh, a little bit depressed and negative at the table if things aren't going your way. After all, we love to play poker and you know we wanna do well at poker. So when we don't, when we're confronted by those losses, that triggers a negative response. We've been conditioned for years in our lives that losing is bad, right? But in poker, it's not always within our control. And it can just be that you are having a losing session because the cards aren't going your way. We know that, there's nothing we can do, right? So it's vitally important that we don't, in the very old gambling and poker saying, throw good money after bad. We don't wanna compound our mistake or our bad run by creating another bad run just by feeling negative and making bad decisions at the table. So how can you turn a session round? Well, first of all, I'm not a big believer in momentum. I think momentum is something that happens in our heads. And it's also something that people have as a concept which they then put onto events after they've happened. So they go, oh, that team had all the momentum and that's why they won. Well, there's just as many examples of um, you know, teams having really good runs and then falling off a cliff and doing really badly. And in fact, scientists have studied momentum in sports and games and it doesn't really exist. I think the only place it really exists in poker is in heads up poker because there's two people and they're both, both those people are going to be involved in every decision. And so the psychology and emotional state of those two people is vital. But in most of the poker you're going to play in your career, momentum, and what I mean by that is the events that have just happened have no relevance to the events that are going to happen because the cards that are about to be dealt in this hand don't know what cards you've been dealt over the last three hours. They just don't know. There's just no way for those two things to be connected. This new hand could be a fantastic winning hand or it could be another massively unlucky hand. We just don't know, right? And I think it's important to accept that principle before I go into the specifics of what you can do during a session. Um, the one thing I would say that can have an effect is how other players play against you, how other players play against you. Um, and that is that sometimes when you're losing, players will see that as weakness and they'll actually play more aggressively against you and they won't fold as much to you. And then vice versa, when you're winning and you've got a big stack, players might fold a little bit more to you and they might give you a little bit more respect. It's just kind of subconscious psychological factors or even conscious ones. So you might adjust your game based on how people are reacting to your results a little bit, but don't get carried away with that. The thing is momentum is mostly in our heads. Negativity is mostly in our heads. So let's address uh, some practical ways to deal with that. Uh, five of them, as it happens. The first one is pretty uh, decisive way of dealing with a negative session, and that is to quit. <laughs> you can just quit. Now, I know that is of no use if you're in a big tournament and your stack's going down and you're feeling negative. If you quit, you've just lost your remaining chip, so you're not gonna do that. So we'll talk about that in a second. But if you're playing a lot of smaller tournaments or sit and goes or a cash game session and you're buying in in the tournaments or thinking about buying in more in the cash games, you should just quit if your negative momentum and your losses in that session are causing you to play badly, right? I'm going to give you some steps to stop that. But if it doesn't work, again, you should probably just quit because it doesn't matter how much I talk to you now about how previous hands don't affect future hands. If you don't feel that way at the table in that moment, if you just feel negative and you feel like the world's against you, you're not gonna make good decisions. You're not gonna play with confidence. You're not gonna be able to pull off big moves or decisive uh, calls in tough spots. So you're not gonna play well. So you should just quit if you're in that negative mindset. It's easier for me to write on the board than it is to do because sometimes we get into that horrible kind of autopiloting tilt where we just keep playing. But 
I would really address it if you do find yourself getting in these kind of funks at the table and try and quit earlier if you cannot get out of them. All right, let's now talk about getting out of them because like I said, we want to do that anyway because we are going to have losses, doesn't matter how good we are at poker. And also we're going to be in tournaments sometimes where things have really not gone our way. So what can we do? Well, I would encourage you to do a process which involves resetting your approach. So you're not thinking about past hands, but you're thinking about your current and future opportunities in this game. Positive opportunity thinking, if you like. It's a bit David Brent, isn't it? But you know what I mean. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a break. So we're going to give ourselves a mental break. So you're at the table, things are not going your way, you're feeling negative, you realise that you know, you're not feeling great, you catch yourself uh, doing that. The first thing you want to do is take a mental break so you can reset. And that involves not thinking about the poker game for a bit, uh, getting some oxygen into your brain and then coming back with a new attitude. Now, if you're under pressure, the blinds are big or whatever, you can do this at the table and you can do it in less than a minute. Just close your eyes or put your face in your palms, um, take some really deep breaths and then think about something positive. I know it sounds cliched, but we need to get out of our funk, right? Think about something positive. It can be something that has nothing to do with poker, some really good memory from the day or from your week. Or you could think about a hand that you've played really well in the past. That works really well, actually. Just reminding yourself that you are actually good at this game, even though tonight hasn't gone your way. Anything that can give you a positive feeling, right? Uh, and if it's about poker, so much the better. And then after you've made that break, you're going to reset and come back into the game feeling fresh with the attitude, write it down if you need to, that this game is an opportunity for me and I'm going to play, you know, my, play my A game from now on. So take that break, whether it's a few seconds at the table or whether it's one of the tournament breaks where you go off on your own or you put a break into a cash game session you're playing for a few minutes, whatever it is. Take that break and reset. So then how do we get ourselves into a more positive state of mind? Well, everything involving good poker and your mental uh, attitude at the poker table, for me, is all about bringing yourself into the now, right? You cannot control what's just happened. You cannot control the negative results you've just got. You can't control any of that. What you can control is your decisions from now and going forward. That's the bit we can control. So that's what we want to uh, focus on. So I want you to say to yourself, I'm going to play the next hand outstandingly well, or I'm going to focus on the next hand, right? Focus on the next hand. You've got to bring yourself into the present. You've got to bring yourself into the decision that you are about to make. It's the only way to play good poker. It's the only way to move forward. If you are thinking about what's happened in the past, how you've lost chips, how you used to have a big stack, and now you've got a small stack in this tournament, or how you've lost four buy-ins, then you are sunk, right? You're destroyed. You won't be able to play good poker. But if you're in the tournament, you still have an opportunity, right? I don't care if you just had 80 big blinds and lost a big pot and now you've only got 20. You can win from 20 big blinds. I won an Omaha High Low Split tournament from one big blind. I've commentated on more than one tournament where players have come back, including an EPT Grand Final actually, have come back from one or two big blinds to win it. So don't be feeling sorry for yourself because you've only got 15 and you used to have 100 or you've only got 20 and you used to have 80. What you used to have isn't relevant. So think about the opportunity in front of you and bring yourself into that next hand because the only way you can rebuild and turn your session round, cash all tournament, is to make good decisions, control what you can control and think about that next hand. So then we're going to kind of root that in because the next hand is going to come and go. It's easy to get back into that funk. So now I want to give you some other things to think about. The next thing to think about once you've brought yourself into the present is your situation in this game, your situation. Uh, so now we're going to focus on your situation. So I want you to uh, learn how to spell situation, Nick. I want you to, don't need to uh, be able to spell it to preach it. I want you to think about your situation in this game. I want you to think about where the opportunities are. Where are the weak players? I want you to think about what your stack is. What kind of moves can you make with your stack? Given the dynamics at the table and what's just happened, what opportunities are likely to present themselves? Okay, so think about your situation. Think about it moving forward. Think about some positive things in the future. You can try a technique called future pacing, where you visualize where you want to be in a couple of hours time or at the end of the night. Visualize yourself walking out with profit. Now, there's nothing magical about that, right? I'm not into this law of attraction stuff where it's going to magically make you win. But it is going to fill your head with positive thoughts and it's going to put your focus back on the opportunity in front of you, right? Which is that you can still make chips in this poker game. 
And then finally, to get you really back into the game and thinking about the positive opportunities you have, you're going to do a table report. A table report. Uh, this is one of my favorite techniques. If you have been on my list for a while, you'd have heard it before. No better time to do it than now when you're refocusing on the opportunity in the game. The table report is where you go around the table, you think about each of your opponents, you can do it online or live, and you ask yourself, what are their weaknesses? How can I make chips from them? What is their mindset at the moment? How are they playing? And basically this makes you focus on each of your opponents. So you're really bringing yourself back into the game. It's impossible to dwell there's nothing in dwelling, by the way, it does you no good. But there's nothing, there's no, it's impossible to dwell on things that have already happened and how you're losing, how things aren't going to go away, if you're actively asking yourself good questions about how you're going to make chips going forward. Because that's your challenge, to make chips going forward, and that's your opportunity. So do a table report, go round your opponents in your head and ask yourself how you're going to make chips from them, how they're viewing the game, what their strengths and weaknesses are, and so on. All right, I hope that gives you some ammunition to get you out of a funk the next time you're in one. Do put some work into this. Getting into a negative mindset when you're having a losing session is a very natural reaction, right? As good poker players, we have to fight to reprogram it. So I hope that helps you. All right, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed making this video for you. Please leave me a comment underneath to tell me what you thought and if you've got any questions about any of the content or anything else that you need help with in your poker game. If you've loved it, give it a Facebook thumbs up uh, and give it a share. That's a like, by the way. And give it a share uh, or put it out on any social media you like so that we can get the word out to your poker playing friends who will also benefit. I hope you're having a great time on and off the tables. Remember to run good because that's the hard part.